Hello everyone. Welcome to the first session of ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level Exam Course. In this session, I am going to explain about ISTQB CTFL exam. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to take you to is the official website of ISTQB guys. Let's first go to the ISTQB website so that you can understand more. So either you can type ISTQB and search in the Google or you can directly type the complete website guys that is ISTQB.org You will be taken to the official website of ISTQB So what exactly is the ISTQB stands for? ISTQB stands for International Software Testing Qualifications Board guys Okay, this is the full form of ISTQB So how many certifications are being offered by this ISTQB? How many certifications are being offered by this ISTQB board? There are several guys, okay? So there are several certifications which can be categorized into different types of certifications and different levels of certifications, fine? But the one you need to get started with is nothing but this one, guys. As you can see a diagram here, guys, there are a lot of certifications here. So each and every item in this particular diagram or image is nothing but a separate certification, guys. So where all it starts? In order to take all the certifications, guys, we need to start with this certification. So our course is all about this first certification that we need to take to get started with taking all the remaining certifications also, fine? So the first certification we have to take, that is foundation level certified tester or certified tester foundation level. That's why we call that as ISTQB CTFL. C stands for certified, T stands for tester, F stands for foundation, L stands for level. So our course is all about this one, right? ISTQB CTFL. This is the first basic certification exam that we have to take uh, from this ISTQB board. Later on, later on, once you finish or uh, once you finish or get successful in this particular certification, then you can move to other certifications also. Okay. And again, guys, uh, this ISTQB board have classified or categorized this different certifications being offered by them into several categories. So you can plan your way of doing the certifications guys. Once you are qualified for this uh, certified tester foundation level exam, right? Then you can go straight. Okay, this may be your path. After this is done, you can take this path because this all these are the core level certifications guys. Okay, generally everyone takes this core type of certifications. They start with the certified tester. Then they will go to the advanced level uh, where we have test manager, test analyst, uh, technical test analyst, these certifications are there. Then they move more to the expert level where test management, improving the testing process, such kind of certifications are there. So this is one path that most of the people will take. This is a core path. So some people actually are interested more into the agile thing, okay? So after doing this uh, certified tester foundation level, they may move to the agile tester at the foundation level. Then they move to the advanced level of agile things, certifications, right? This is agile path. So this is a common path that most of the people take. So some people after doing this, they may go to the agile part, or if you want to be uh, certified at a specialist level, okay, these are the special courses, guys, okay? This is a specialist kind of uh, certifications, you can say. So if you want to get certified in something like uh, some uh, type of testing, that is acceptance testing, okay? Then you can take this certification. Or you want to get certified, you, become, you want to become a specialist in one type of testing that is usability testing, then you can take this certification. Like that, there are several types of testing, guys, for which you can take the certification for. So hope you got a high level idea guys, but in this session or in this uh, course, whatever I started with, I am going to explain and teach you how to clear this, this first certification of ISTQB, that is ISTQB CTFL, that is Certified Tester Foundation level guys. Hope you got the idea what is CTFL stands for now, right? So there are different types and levels of ISTQB certification. We have to start with which certification guys? We have to start with ISTQB CTFL, Certified Tester Foundation Level Certification. Okay, this is a compulsory guys. Okay, without this, without do, without uh, uh, completing this CTFL certification, you cannot take any other certification from this ISTQB board. This is the first certification that you can take. Then only if you clear only, then you can move to other certifications of ISTQB. That's why I'm saying here, pretty excited for taking other ISTQB certifications, fine. So CTFL, I already mentioned, it stands for Certified Tester Foundation Level. Hope you got all these details so far, right? Now, the next question is, is this certification compulsory? 
So is it compulsory for every tester or some person to do this particular certification? No, guys. Certifications are always optional. Okay, it's not compulsory, guys. But if you do these certifications, there are few benefits. Okay, though the certifications are optional for everyone. Okay, even though you are working as a software tester or even though you want to come into the testing field, whatever it is. Okay, whatever the experience you have from zero to whatever the experience in testing, guys. Certifications are optional, guys. Okay, you don't have to. It's not compulsory for you to do these certifications. Okay, so next thing is, then if it is optional, what will be the benefit, right? What is the benefit that you get by doing these certifications? First thing is, certifications will increase your knowledge. Okay, so I just tried this, guys. Okay, so I just tried this. So before I, uh, before I have. uh gone through the certification right my type of knowledge with software testing was different and once i have taken the certification then my way of thinking got changed in testing guys okay it will put you in a proper uh, kind of framework okay so where your knowledge will be increased you will become complete guys you can say okay for someone who is having 2 years or 3 years of experience right he may think that he know everything about testing but after you take this particular istqb certification you will go into a particular framework where you feel like uh, you got the knowledge okay all the, all the gaps that were missing earlier in you, even though you have experience all those gaps that were missing from your experience will be filled up because it will increase your knowledge guys second thing you will get more clarity on testing so before taking the certification you may have few doubts guys okay you may not be so much confident or you things may not be clear in testing even though you have done some projects also in testing you things may not be clear guys but after doing this after studying this istqb ctfl thing and uh, attempting this certification right then you will get more clarity guys what exactly the sit testing and what are the different concepts of testing you'll get more clarity okay so if you get more knowledge and more clarity automatically your confidence will increase right this certification will boost your confidence definitely okay i'm not talking about all the certifications guys but at least this istqb ctfl if you take it it will increase your knowledge it will increase your clarity on testing and it will boost your confidence thereby okay and also guys another benefit that you are going to get apart from this basic things is like while you are switching the jobs or in the same company uh, if you want to compete with your peers other people okay either it's switching the jobs or in the same company where you want to get more promotions or something right doing this istqb ctfl certification may help guys okay it's not compulsory it may help because it may help in different ways it may be because of the certification or because of your confidence levels either you get promoted properly or you'll get jobs properly you can switch the job properly whatever it is okay these are the benefits guys fine now who generally take this ctfl istqb ctfl certification who attempt this particular exam certification exam it can be anyone guys even a fresher who doesn't have any knowledge on software testing if he want to come into this software testing field he may also take okay he can take it he can put a resume with it uh, with this particular istqb showing that he is interested in testing and he can apply jobs there is a chance that he may get a, he or she may get a chance uh, get a job right that's one thing or already the people who have joined the company as a software tester okay to build their confidence or to increase their knowledge or to like uh, get more promotions or to switch their jobs or whatever it is okay so starting from 0 years to any number of years can take this certification guys this certification this is the first predict site certification for all the other istqb certification exams so if you take this certification you can attempt other certification exams also at same time it will give more clarity irrespective of your experience even 0 to any number of experience guys can take this certification guys so guys hope you got some idea about uh, what is this istqb ctfl certification exam so that's it guys see you in the next session thank you bye